Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing a very quick comparison between two devices that cost approximately 1,000 ringgit. So I know a lot of people are often asking like what's the best phone in the price range of 1,000 ringgit-ish. Anyways, these are two options that are actually quite interesting here. So today, we will be taking a look at the Honor 50 Lite versus the Oppo A95. Now, both smartphones were released not too long ago, so they're actually quite relevant still today. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you everything that you need to know in terms of the differences between the Honor 50 Lite as well as the Oppo A95. Now, first up, obviously, we're going to be talking about the price because price is very important here. Uh, the Honor 50 Lite was launched in Malaysia for RM999, which was actually quite surprising because it undercut the 1000 ringgit mark. So it's very interesting here we get this device for 999 and the Oppo A95 here is slightly more expensive at RM1099. So it's just 100 ringgit between both devices here but let's see what they have to offer. Alright so first up again let's talk a little bit about the design because design is very different here and it's quite subjective. In terms of the Honor 50 Lite what we're seeing over here is a much more sporty design. Uh, we have very interesting lines at the back here coupled with the round circular uh, camera cutout and it looks very very good. Uh, apart from that you do have these curved sides at the back here and overall I think this is a very stylish looking smartphone for the price of just 999 Again very very interesting design on the Honor 50 Lite. Now moving on to the Oppo A95, this is slightly different, it is more minimalist but uh, what you might notice here is that Oppo has this sort of gradient kind of look to the back panel over here and yes, a lot of the ladies actually like this kind of color combination and me personally, I would actually go with something like the Honor 50 Lite. Uh, one more thing that I should also point out here is that the sizes of both devices are actually quite different so you might notice that uh, the Honor 50 Lite is actually slightly larger than that of the Oppo A95. Now since we're talking a little bit about size, let's also talk about the weight. Uh, weight wise, yes, the Honor because it's a larger phone it is slightly more heavier. It is approximately 190 plus grams whereas the Oppo A95 is 170 plus grams. Uh, it is slightly smaller here. Alright, so now done with the design, let's talk a little bit about uh, the displays itself because we have very interesting and very different displays over here. Now in terms of the Honor 50 Lite here, what we are getting here in the front is actually a 6.67 inch LCD display at 1080p. Now you might think that why is Honor giving us an LCD display? But like I mentioned in my videos previously, uh, the display on the Honor device is actually very good and what I mean by that is that it has very good colors, great contrast levels and brightness was actually very good as well. So you you might think that it is just an LCD but it performs very close to an, an AMOLED panel for example. Now another thing that I should also mention here is that the bezels on the side of the Honor 50 Lite, uh, in my previous video I also mentioned that is that it is very very slim. So according to Honor this actually gives the 50 Lite here a 95 close to 95% uh, screen to body ratio that means that most of the front part is actually made up of its display. Very very cool stuff here on the Honor 50 Lite. Now moving on to the Oppo A95, obviously like I mentioned earlier on this is a smaller device so at the front uh, you only get a 6.4 inch AMOLED display uh, again running at 1080p and yes it does get an AMOLED display which actually have a slightly better contrast and saturations but uh, if you take a look here uh, in terms of just the bezels at the sides and the top and bottom it is slightly thicker according to Oppo the screen to body ratio is approximately 91% so uh, in terms of the screen to body ratio uh, you're getting a little bit higher on the Honor 50 Lite over here but yes at the end of the day me personally I always Always prefer larger displays uh, so the Honor 50 Lite is the one that I might go with. Now moving on let's talk a little bit about the processing power. In terms of processing power both devices actually perform very similarly because they have the same processor. They both have Snapdragon 662 on board so yeah just in terms of performance it's good enough for day-to-day -day use. Uh, if you're not like a super heavy gamer both devices will definitely serve you well. Uh, in terms of social media browsing you know just navigating the internet checking out stuff on various apps uh, they both actually run very decently on uh, the both the Honor 50 Lite as well as the Oppo A95. Now moving on, let's talk a little bit about the cameras at the back because this is where things get very different. Now first up, let's talk a little bit about the one on the Honor 50 Lite. As you can see here, we do have a four a quad sensor setup and the most important one here is actually the 64 megapixel main sensor together with that 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Apart from that, it also has 2 megapixel depth and 2 megapixel macro. Now moving on to the Oppo A95 over here, we only have a triple camera setup. You have a 48 megapixel main sensor, a 2 megapixel depth and a 2 megapixel macro. So what you might notice missing 
on the Oppo A95 is that it lacks an ultra wide sensor, which is available on the Honor 50 Lite. Now, just in terms of image quality, uh, both devices are able to take pretty good pictures. Uh, I'll put a side by side comparison here so you can have a look for yourself. But I must mention that just in terms of the flexibility, you are able to get that ultra wide on the Honor 50 Lite over here. And one thing I should also highlight that is uh, for night mode, I noticed that the Honor 50 Lite actually allows a longer period of time to actually capture more details. So for night mode, for those of you who like to take photographs at night, you might actually benefit from the Honor 50 Lite's uh, longer exposure time. And that means it's able to capture more details for night pictures. All right, so that's just in terms of the cameras. Next thing we're gonna talk about here is in terms of the battery lives. Now, yes, the Honor 50 Lite here comes with a 4,300 mAh battery, whereas on the Oppo A95 over here, it comes with a 5,000 mAh battery. Now, in terms of battery sizes, yes, uh, the Oppo does have a larger battery, but all in all, if you charge your phone on a daily basis, you won't really notice a difference because both devices can get through the entire day, one full day on a single charge without any issues. I think the more interesting point here is in terms of the charging speeds. Now the Honor 50 Lite here actually supports 66 watt fast charge whereas uh, the Oppo A95 here supports 33 watt fast charge. So both are actually fast but the Honor 50 Lite here takes it to the next level. With the 66 watt fast charge on the Honor 50 Lite here it's able to charge up to 55% in just 15 minutes whereas on the Oppo here it takes double the time approximately half an hour to get to 54%. So naturally you can already see that the Honor 50 Lite here has very very fast charging speeds. So in any situation if you just need to juice up your Honor 50 Lite you can do that very quickly with the 66 watt charger that came in the box. Alright guys, I think that's it for this very quick comparison between the uh, Honor 50 Lite as well as the Oppo A95. At the end of the day, uh, the choice is really yours to make. Me personally, I would actually go with the Honor 50 Lite right here because it just comes with that uh, slightly larger display. You know, I prefer larger displays. It comes with a slightly better camera with the extra flexibility for the ultra wide as well. And of course, it does come with the 66 watt fast charge which is really, really, very quick. If you do want to get these devices, you can check out the plans from DG and Maxis. Of course, if you're in Malaysia, uh, you can get very, very very good deals here. For DG, it's just RM22 per month for their DG Postpaid 120 plan. Uh, and for Maxis, it's just one ringgit uh, for their Maxis 128 Postpaid plan. Both plans have zero ringgit upfront payment and 0% interest rates. Okay, you can find out more information in the links down below. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.